Hello, and in this exercise, we shall be looking at a relationship between the midpoint of uh, the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle and all three vertices. Again, this is a, an AS level GCSE, IGCSE uh, additional mathematics type question. And it says, uh, prove analytically that the midpoint of the hypotenuse of right angle triangle is equidistant from all three vertices. Now, what I've done here is to draw um, an xy, sorry, this is, a, this is a draw xy axis on which I have superimposed a right angle triangle. Uh, and one of the lines of the right angle triangle lies on the x axis. Now, I can make life easier for myself. If I move my right angle triangle, so if I move this point, for instance, to the origin, that will make the proof so much easier. But it doesn't really matter where your right angle triangle is, you get, you get the same result. Right, now I've called my vertices, sorry, I've got one of the vertices, I've got vertices A, B, and C with the midpoint of C A being at the point D. Now I've said that the, the coordinate of the coordinates of the point A is uh, equal to A0 and the coordinates at the point B would be little B0 and Again, the coordinates at the point C would be B, C, for obvious reasons. But we need to find the coordinate at the point D, which is midpoint, which is midway between C and A. So the X coordinate at the point D would be B plus A over 2, while the Y coordinate of the point D would be C plus 0, over 2. Now we don't have to put the 0 in, but it's there anyway just to help me explain what I'm doing. If I now join uh, B to D, that will give me the distance from the vertex for the vertex B to the point D. Now, all we need to do now is to show that either that B D is equal to either C D or A D because CD is equal to AD anyway. Right, to formalize what I just said, I put it down all in writing here. Okay. So we're now required to show that uh, BD is equal to AD is equal to DC. So again, as I said earlier, all I have to do is to show that BD is equal to either uh, CD or AD. Now, to do that, I'll draw this little triangle here, a right angle triangle, a D E B. Okay. Now, I want to find B D squared. Now, B D squared is this one here. Now, E B is the difference between the, sorry, to find B D squared, which is hypotenuse of uh, this right angle triangle here. That would be B E squared plus B E squared. So B D squared is equal to B E B squared plus B E squared. Now E B squared is the difference between the coordinate of B and the coordinate of E squared, which is B minus b plus a over 2 all squared and e d squared is the difference between the coordinate of d sorry the, the difference between the y coordinate of d and the y coordinate of e in this case c plus 0 over 2 minus 0 and that's what you got there i've opened up our brackets we end up with b d squared is equal to b minus b over 2 minus a over 2 all squared plus c over 2 all squared. Now b minus b over 2 is b over 2, so we end up with b, b d 
this square is equal to b over 2 plus a over 2 all squared plus c over 2 all squared. Now, what about c d squared? Similarly, for c d squared, we got this here. Because the distance from d to c b is the same as the distance from e to b. In this case, b minus b plus a over 2 all squared. Now, the distance from there to there will be c minus c plus 0 over 2 because I've not shown it here, but, but here we're looking at another right angle triangle there. So c d squared will be b minus b plus a over 2 all squared plus c minus c plus 0 over 2 all squared. Again, when we open up our brackets, we end up with c d squared is equal to b minus b over 2 minus a over 2 all squared plus c minus c over 2 all squared. Now b minus b over 2 is b over 2 and c minus c over 2 is c over 2. So we end up with c d squared being b minus b over 2 minus a over 2 plus c over 2. And again, as I said earlier, b minus b over 2 is b over 2. We we'll end up with c d squared being b over 2 minus a over 2 all squared plus c over 2 all squared. So c d squared is equal to b d squared above. The square root of b d squared is b d. The square root of c d squared is c d. So we end up with b d is equal to c d is equal to a d as required. Now, I hope all that made some sense and please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye bye.